Hello everyone and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. We are slowly approaching our 100th video, if I can get the words, 100th, 100th, nearly 100. And this, I think, is the 91st. Now, if it wasn't for you guys and your ideas and your input and your requests for videos on various different things, well, I wouldn't be here. Uh, you really have helped in shaping the way these uh, videos have happened and the way the channel has happened, and I really appreciate it. Making bows and arrows, all, uh, bows and arrows, bows and arrows, bows and arrows all day doesn't necessarily mean I always know what to show you or what you're going to find interesting or something that you may find difficult that I find easy that I think you're going to want to see. So again, thank you for giving me those ideas. Now, we have been accused over the years, and I hope these videos have gone some way to dispersing that myth, that we don't share our art, that we don't share the skills that we have. Uh, it's a complete nonsense. We do. Um, we do tease people now and again and say that there are secrets and mysteries, uh, which is often the way, I think, with anything and partly our sense of humour. But quite frankly, anything and everything to do with making bows and arrows is in the public domain. It's in all the books. Uh, it's certainly how my father taught himself. He was self-taught. He got all the available books and literature and talked to people and got whatever there was available and started making bows. Everything else, well, you pretty much have to make up as you go along. Now, I learned from him. I was lucky and yes, it's an honour and a privilege to be in that position. Uh, to be able to learn from someone uh, and, and be an apprentice, of uh, which I was sort of one of the first in a long time, uh, certainly father-son uh, apprenticeships. Now, there are one or two things left that are, shall we say, secrets? Shall we say those things that really do make you a bowyer, something that changes you from just dabbling to actually being a fully fledged bowyer, there are those things that I wasn't even shown or taught until I had been um, uh, under the tutelage of my father for some years before he showed me those, the secrets, the tricks. Uh, <laughs> I must confess I didn't even believe such a thing existed. Uh, I probably shouldn't really be telling you any of those, and I strongly suspect I'd be kicked out of the guild uh, if I did. Now, talking of the guild, now that is something that has grown uh, amazingly over the years to quite a strong number now. Um, now, there are things that you're not allowed to say about the guild once you're in. There are secrets within any guild. Now, for you, thanks, this is all it is, it is thanks for you, thanks to you, for supporting me in making these videos and giving me the ideas for various types of video that you want to see. I'm going to share with you some of those secrets. I'm going to show you a secret video I made at the Craft Guild of Traditional Bowyers and Fletchers. Yes, I'm risking it by showing you this. I am going to show you some of the behind the scenes of some of the ceremonies that go on there. Erectus Rectumanus, Dominet Etus, Pipas, Picastifas, Puas, Soras, Semelatim. Robertus Hardius! 